Welcome back to the and the Go. Today I'm reviewing episode three of Hawkeye. So in this episode, we got to know a lot more about Echo and how she became who she is today. And we got to see Kingpin. That's why I'm wearing that is why I'm wearing my black. Because just seeing Kingpin, just getting the sprinkles, that is all I need to survive is the little hints that there might be Daredevil, that Charlie Cox might come back, that Vincent might come back. I don't know his I don't know how to say his last name, but Vincent, okay, from Daredevil, the, the TV show. So just sprinkles. But just seeing his hand was enough for me. It's gonna be really interesting to see what they do with this character in future episodes because will they bring him back for episodes four, five, and six? Are they gonna bring in any hints of Daredevil? Like what's going on there? Because Echo is a part of the Daredevil universe. Her uncle is Kingpin. So what are they gonna do with that? And she's getting her own TV show, which is really, really great. Um, going with Hawkeye now, Jeremy Renner is so great in this episode. And it just shows that yes, Hawkeye has been needing his own show for sure. Because Jeremy Renner is like just a great actor. And I love the fight scenes between him and Echo. That was very exciting and, and, and very great. And I think what's bringing me down from this episode is Haley Seinfeld. I really, I'm sorry guys, I just don't like Kate Bishop. I'm not really liking her character because she is immature, She her fight scenes are lackluster. When she comes into the scene, she just brings it down. She she tries to make a joke out of a situation when it could be very serious and very like, you know, just just really well done. And that's what brings the, that's what's the difference between this show and, and Falcon Winter Soldier, because we have two adults that understand that this is a serious situation. And then over here we have an adult, but she's in her 20s. And then we have an, a, a guy that's, and then we have Hawkeye who's very, very experienced and, and, and an Avenger. So, it, and then it just brings the scene down because we have we have Echo, we have Hawkeye fighting and it's very tension and then we have her come in and it's like you just lost it for me. So I'm not I'm I'm not really liking Kate Bishop right now. I know that's that's not the I know everyone's loving her right now. Everyone's really loving the show and I'm just not feeling her. I, I hope that in, in these next episodes of four, five and six that they do a little bit more with her, but right now she I'm not feeling it. Um, but Jeremy Renner is really great. They did, I love how they brought in, um, I love how they talked more about his deafness and how he's hard of hearing and they explained it more and like how, um, how bad it is for him because he is human. So he's had a lot of ear problems and he, he's had a lot, yeah, he, he's a lot of things exploding in your ear. It's going to mess up your eardrums. And so, yeah, he has to use a hearing aid now. And so they, they show like how dependent he is on that. And so that was really great. Um, I didn't like the cliffhanger with with Kate Bishop's stepdad, you know, kind of holding up the sword to um, to Hawkeye's throat. It just kind of ended. It felt like another um, WandaVision ending where it just kind of didn't feel I didn't feel fulfilled enough. Um, so that's kind of how I felt about it. Um, honorable mention scene is when when um, Hawkeye uses Hank Pym, Hank Pym's technology on, with his arrow and makes that arrow like huge that was really cool i love those like little references to other characters so 10 out of 10 for that um i give this episode a seven and a half out of ten you know it's better than the other two episodes which we gave a five out of ten um i just need more hawkeye and less kate bishop i'm sorry not sorry actually so yeah let me know down in the comments what you give this episode out of 10 let me know what um um how are you feeling about this show so far if it's really doing it for you let us know um, and also make sure to follow us on on Twitter at InWoodley to send in your theories or your questions about Hawkeye and all that jazz. Make sure to subscribe. We're 117 supporters away from our 1500 subscriber goal at the end of the year. So make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.